Spencer Jones. Tell me if you've heard this one before. The Yankees have a super athletic, power hitting six foot seven outfielder. No, it's not Aaron Judge. It's Spencer Jones, the Yankees' first rounder last year. This guy is going to put on a show not only in the game, but batting practice. Make sure you don't miss it. All right. Joining us now, we've got Spencer. How's it going? Uh, it's going great so Welcome far. Welcome to the Good Prospect Pad Live. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Well, we are excited. We are so excited for the Futures game tomorrow. So what, you know, you get the call. Mm-hmm. Or how did you find out? How did uh, you find out you're playing? It was funny. I was We were in Brooklyn, and we had just gotten there for the trip for the, the series we were going to play there. And Coach calls me into the office, and... It was funny how he phrased it. He's like, you got anything going on for like the All-Star break? <laughs> I was like, I was going to go hang out with my grandparents and you know, chill at the beach. He's like, well, you know, the Renegades are holding a camp, and they want you to run the camp for three days during the All-Star break. Just be you, nobody else there. <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, oh, I'm just kidding. You got invited to the Futures game. Congratulations. The whole staff was in there. And then shortly after, the team found out. That was pretty special. That's awesome. Now, this is close to home where you grew up, right? San, San Diego, mm-hmm. is that right? San Diego. We had a, a former, um, I guess, ri- high school rival here earlier, Marcelo. <laughs> and we were talking to him about the... Uh, but he's infinite. a youngster when you were... He was. Yes, he was a couple right. of years, yeah, younger than me, but a great player. Yeah, he, uh, he, he told us how he got a couple hits off you, but I feel like... Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably know, did. When you're a freshman, that's a, that's a big deal. But kind of along those lines, like, I always thought, you know... We, Again, you were always a two-way player. But mm-hmm. going back then, when you were in high school, you know, we heard more about your arm, you as a pitcher. Mm-hmm. Did you think of yourself at that time as a pitcher who hit, or were you a hitter who pitched back then, and this is your natural, you know, the natural right. order has returned, that um, you're, hitting for, you're hitting bombs? Yeah, I mean, I thought I was always uh, a hitter that pitched. Pitching was something I picked up pretty late. I didn't really start pitching until the end of high school, and... Um, after like you know that first elbow surgery, I was like, you know, it kind of sucks. I'd rather be hitting. And then after the second one, I was like, let's focus <laughs> on hitting more. So I... did that. Is that in any way like? But does pitching and having to pitch, and again at a high level, does that help you as a hitter? Because you've kind of now been, you know, again everyone. There's no one here who didn't pitch at some point. I don't mean mm-hmm. by that way, but you've done it. You know, you've done it at a very high level. Where does that help you as a hitter? to kind of understand the challenges of a pitcher? Um, I think it helps me as a teammate, you know, okay. because, you know, I was one of those guys who went out there and pitched a lot. And for me personally, it's like I feel like I'm able to relate to a lot of the pitchers, a lot of the position players. And, um, you know, it's a different different beast competing professional baseball as a pitcher. So I can't, you know, I don't understand that when it comes to performing every, every week like that. But, I mean, when it comes to conversations and hanging out in the dugout and talking pitching, like, I, I do my best. We have fun with it. The other thing with you, um, power, but also patience. With a good at-bat for you, like, do you feel like that the more pitches you see, the advantage shifts more your way, or is it really kind of just depend, you know, it depends on what the pitch, if the pitcher's going at you right away, okay, I'm going to jump on it right away. Like, how, how does a good at-bat go for you? Is it that you want to see a little bit first? You know, because again, you often get into advantageous counts, which is a good thing, obviously, as a as a hitter. But h- how does your thought process go through as you're as you're stepping up the plate? Right. Uh, more than anything, it's approach, right? So it's like I have certain cues that I'm, you know, basing my sight lines, my um, visual cues that I need, you know, before I get in the box. Physical cues of when I'm getting in there and setting my rhythm, you know, and that helps with my timing and patience at the plate. And it's one of those things like I know which pitches I can hit and which ones you know, I should leave alone. And it's just about establishing that window. And you know, when I find pitches that fit what I'm looking for in those situations, that's when I'm making moves. But that means in your early count, there's times where it's a strike, and you're like, you know it's a strike, but it's like, no, I'm, I'm better off facing, seeing something else, right? Right. I mean, it just it depends on the situation, depends on the arm, depends on what I'm seeing that day. But, yeah. like. So how different is high A than low A. I, I feel like right now that there is a, a, a pretty significant difference between the two as far as like, okay, partly we also have robo in, and, you know, in the Florida State League and all that. But, you know, has it, been, has it been very similar for you or, you know, has it been a little different this year from your first taste of pro ball action? Um, I mean, it's different. You know, this is like the first full season, right? So last year it was um, competing in the SEC and then going out and playing professional baseball. It's that first taste. 
and then now it's getting more into the season and we're playing you know all these games and it's different I am I don't I'm not really sure how to compare the levels you know it's uh, in the end of the day it's just kind of baseball I'm out there playing so. but okay I've got also guys who said you were not just you were in the SEC but you were at Vandy you know and a very successful program what does it mean? I'll give you a chance to be, you know, like, hey, I'm a Vanderbilt. Cover. But, you know, because you always have a story program. Like, wherever you go, you're probably going to run into, you know, or when you guys are working out during the off season, there's a whole lot of, you know, of alums. There's a whole lot of, you know, guys. Mm -hmm. Y'all, you all kind of, it's a network, isn't it? Right. Like, it is. It is more than anything, you know. Guys, you know, a lot of the big league guys will bring in some of their former teammates or current teammates, and they'll pop in and work out for a week or two and just hang out and be there every day. And so for a lot of, you know, a lot of us guys in the minor leagues that are working out there, we just get as much information as possible. Like, those guys are around. They're resources. They're, they want us to ask questions, and they just, you know, they want to help. So it's awesome just to be able to be in that environment. Don't tell uh, any of my fellow Gators, but when I covered SEC baseball, Vandy was always one of my favorite teams. Uh, Coach Corbett, all that, mm -hmm. we had a blast, and it was fun. I call it, covered them in their College World Series run a, a while ago. Um, but, no, we appreciate you coming here and Thank talking you. to us. Yeah, of course. Good luck really tomorrow. looking forward to watching the game. I appreciate it. And, um, you know, enjoy. We've got all kinds of fun things to check out here in the Prospect Pad Live. So Perfect. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks Thank you, so Spencer. Much. Appreciate it. All right, we're going to take a quick break. Uh, remember, you guys, send us your questions. We'll be right back.